becomes a conflict continuing, um, but it's, it's post-war. Yeah, I guess I've said it in the past. What is this? On his own. On his own, okay. So he important in the post-war environment than issues such as uh, good governance uh, of the international as a factor. Of course, often it's going to send the country backwards hundreds of years. <laughs> It's good, like, if you just want to kind of memorize, mm -hmm. if you're just trying to get as much vocabulary as possible. I have to I have to And professionally as well, and to really open their minds up. That's true. have some that's my duty. <laughs> I think fundamentally, peace starts inside oneself. And if you cannot have peace of mind, then the fact of being able to feed your children and feeding yourself, having a livelihood, at desperate times calls for desperate measures. It's a very uh, popular saying. And so, when we're looking at peace, I think that it's very interdisciplinary and multilateral. There's so many things that, that come into play. But I think that people, in essence, need a sense of purpose in life. Um, and once they have a sense of empowerment and in purpose, they can lead their communities in directions that will foster growth. Uh, my hopes with my studies here is to get a lot of information and also build community here. So. Uh, I'm from, from Bangkok, Thailand. My interest would be more into like the children and youth empowerment, focus on like getting the peace studies and the peace curriculum back into the educational mm -hmm. system back mm -hmm. in the country. I choose this program because I knew it was a very good opportunity in terms of uh, improving my professional career, but also in terms of uh, having a um, really, really interesting uh, life experience mm -hmm. by being uh, far, far away from my country mm -hmm. and from my cult uh, culture. 